Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I'm going to show you how you can create your own class to provide custom suggestions when you're working with an input field. So what you'll do is if you do not want to use the built-in suggest from list class, what you can do is from textual.suggestor you can import suggestor and you can subclass this class. So let's do file suggestor suggestor colon. So what I'll do is, sorry, I should have given you a little bit more context. I have an application here with an input and what I want is I want for the input to show suggestions that match files in my file system. So if I start to type a file name, I want to show an auto-completion suggestion for that file, but only for files that exist. And so what I want to do is, because I cannot, I don't want to create a list of all of the files that I have right now, because then it might get outdated, I will create my own suggestor that will dynamically figure out which file the user is trying to type. So you need to subclass suggestor and then you want to override the async method get suggestion. So this method takes as a single argument the value that the user has already typed and it's just it's better if I just autocomplete that. So the string argument is what the user has typed and you either return a string which is a suggestion, a completion suggestion or none if you couldn't find anything. And the completion suggestion you want to return is the whole thing, not just the part that is missing to the user or yeah, it's the whole thing. So the way this would work in this simple case is, and I'm simplifying a couple of things here. So from path leave, I'm going to import path. And what I'll do is I'll create a path with the value that the user has typed. Actually, no, sorry. What I'll do is I'll create a path, a path in the current directory, and then I'll do a glob with what the user has already typed in the asterisk. All right, and then what I'll do is the found, the path found is the first result of the glob in case there was anything. So we're going to use a next and the none as a default value. And so then we return, we convert the path found to string if there was a path found, otherwise we return none. And so in here, my input, when I create it, I'll say that the suggestion is this file suggester. Okay, and now I can run my application. Let's see, let me show you what the current directory looks like. So there's a bunch of folders here. And in particular, the application file is my app.py. So if I run textual run my app.py, if I press an M, I am going to get the my app.py completion. If I type something like re, why don't I get the readme? Is it, did I get the name wrong? Brilliant, readme.md. Is it what's going on? My app it shows there. Not the readme. But this is interesting. Can I get I can get um this is so interesting. So I can get the folders input with list suggestion or set interval, but I can't get the readme. That's so interesting. Maybe, is it because of casing? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe, let's see. Let's set case sensitive to false. I, I have no idea what's going on. No, I still don't get the readme. Why can't I see the readme? Regular file, it has continued. Yeah, very interesting. Can I get a private file or something? Can I get .vs code? .vs code. I can. So why can't I find the readme with the glob syntax? What am I doing wrong? MD. I don't know. Okay, so that's funky. Maybe maybe I got something wrong with the glob syntax here. I don't know. Um, is the name of the file really just readme? Does it have like a hidden character or something? Readme. Nope. Close that. Let's change it to readme. I get it now. Read me. Yes, I can. So caps lock was doing something funky. Um, okay, interesting. I have no idea what that was. Let me fix the name again. So it's read me all uppercase. 
I don't know why that didn't work. But the, the suggestions itself are working. It feels like I have a bug with something in my, possibly in my glob pattern. Not sure. Um, right, so the final thing I want to show you is that, uh, let's see. Yes, let's do the following. So I'm going to open the application. I'm going to type bananas.ext. Notice how I didn't get any suggestions as I typed because this file doesn't exist, right? But now what I'll do is I'll go over here and I'll create a file called bananas.ext. And now as I type bananas, I expected to get a completion suggestion, but I didn't. And I didn't because by default, by default, the, the suggestions have a cache turned on, right? So in this dynamic case, I would want to turn the cache off. So let's show the whole thing again. So when I create the suggestion, I'm going to say use cache equals false. I don't want to use the cache. And so I start my application, bananas.txt does nothing. Now I'm going to create my file, bananas.txt. And now I start to ask for completions and I still get them. So in this case, because this was doing a, this needed to do something dynamic, I needed to turn the cache off. And the final thing I want to tell you is that the method get suggestion must be async, but you don't really need to await anything, right? Just bear in mind that if whatever you're doing here takes a lot of time, then the user will or may experience a long period of time between pressing a key and actually getting it there. So if, just very quickly, so let's import time. And this is a, if I do something like time.sleep for 10 seconds, when I run my application, and if I press an M, then I'm going to have to wait 10 seconds before the M shows up there, because the code that's getting the suggestion is not async and it's blocking, right? So it takes a lot of time to show the M. It only showed up now. So be, be wary of that when you're creating your own suggestion. And I hope this was helpful. I will leave documentation links below. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server to ask them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.